Coyotes might find you tasty. Yeah. If you go outside, the other cats are going to tie you to a tree. <laughs> and, and then the, the, the coyotes are going to come and they're going to eat you. And then there's not going to be anything left of you. And you're going to be alive when they eat you. Yeah, they're going, you're going to be alive. What else did she say? I don't you're going to be alive when they eat you. We've got cookies. <laughs> Or you can stay here and have cat food. <laughs> <laughs> Inchworm. Inching her way. That looks like fun. Let me try. <laughs> All right. <laughs> These guys are weird. Hey, Boomer. What's going on? Is this the floor show for you? Good morning, Boomer. This is before I make my appearance. <laughs> <laughs> this is the pre show. <laughs> what can we say? We have some strange animals. <laughs> well, good morning, by the way. Good morning, and the red light. Oh, it was flashing, but it's okay now. Uh, good morning. Um, Blah. Blah. That's all I can say. Not feeling well. We said the Santa Ana's again. It's very warm. <clears throat> yes, the air conditioner was on all night long. <clears throat> I'm miserable. I'm grumpy. Sorry, everybody. I'm a grumpy. How the grump? Bad word, grump. So, I just woke up, took my blood sugar, took my morning meds. I think Boomer is sitting on my breakfast. He doesn't want you to get diabetes. Are you sitting on my breakfast? Are you sitting on my breakfast? What's it? No. Oh. Did you knock it on the floor? Oh, I'll see it on the floor either. Maybe you ate it already. I haven't. Oh well. So today, uh, yeah, I have to do my taxes and I hope that's going to be a happy thing. Uh, I decided today, since it was daylight savings and it's still bright at four o'clock, that I'm going to attempt to mow the lawn. Not that I don't know how, I just have a, mo a lawn mower that I haven't cranked up in a very long time. And uh, so I'm gonna test it on the backyard. The backyard's not too bad, it's a small area. Got some new gas and I hope it all works out. back lawn it uh, I discovered that I have a broken wheel 
have these uh, these things here that uh, will raise and lower the wheels. This one's broken. But uh, I'm just going to have to be careful. This is the lawn. It's not quite knee high, but it's pretty high. Right, so this is going to be the section that's going to be the worst because it's about a foot and a half tall. And I'm trying to do it with a lawnmower with a, uh, I think a four inch clearance. So that would be fun. Let you guys see that. Okay, so I've emptied the bag six times. I've had to stop six times. I've had to sit down six times. It's not like I'm out of shape or anything. And I still have about a third of the lawn to do. Luckily I've got through the really tall stuff. And I mostly have the uh, more or less uh, dead or dying grass to cut. Okay, so that was painful. <sighs> Hopefully it won't be so painful if I keep up on it and I'm not cutting down 16 inch grass. <sighs> I have to repair the lawnmower and I have to figure out what to do about an edger. Because I no longer have an edger. I used to have two. One broke. And I sold the other one because I sold the other one before the other one broke. Had I known. <sighs> Not old. Not. Hello, everybody. It's time for <laughs> neighborhood community shout out. Our first shout out is going to be another <coughs> sad one. I'm so very sorry. Um, Glittering the Sky found out that her dog Gracie has some very serious tumors and does not have much longer to live. Um, they are giving her some medication to make her final um, weeks with her with them um, as pain free as possible. <coughs> So if we can all keep Natalia and her dog Gracie and the family in our thoughts and prayers, um, we would greatly appreciate that. So Natalia, we are thinking <coughs> of you and Gracie. Dave Nicholson, he did some calculations and some research or something, and he likes to figure out the likes to view <coughs> ratio. And he said that the neighbors us <clears throat> have a very high like to view ratio thank you Dave Nicholson <clears throat> we would have never <laughs> known that because we don't know how to figure that stuff out Crystal Dennis we are so very sorry we took you off of the credit roll but we will add you back on tonight <clears throat> make sure you check for tomorrow new dad 2013 welcome to the neighborhood all the way from Florida. Eva Holmes, welcome to the neighborhood. And you know where she started watching us? Computer, I thought. <laughs> she started watching us from the video that has <clears throat> so many dislikes on it. Or not dislikes, but so many rude comments on it. Neighbors Gone Wild. It's made us the most money. Too. I know. We don't know why this vlog ha people, people hate on hate it, it so much. But Eva says, oh, they look like they're pretty fun. Yeah. I'd, I'd hang out with them. Chum. So I said, thank <clears> you, <throat> Eva. Welcome to the neighborhood. Go check out some of our other vlogs, and you'll see just how much fun we really are. I don't know why people are hating on that one video. If they go and check out some of our other vlogs, <clears> especially, I told Eva, our Halloween vlog. You'll see how much fun we really are. So, Eva, welcome to the neighborhood.
neighborhood, and she wants me to adopt her because she likes my cooking. Popo Backyard Farm, welcome to the neighborhood. Rebecca Sunnybrook. All right, you want me to cook for you? Hand over the Cadbury col colored or uh, Cadbury candy Easter eggs. Come on, hand them over, and I'll cook for you. <clears throat> Robert Wright, welcome to the neighborhood. The YouTube guy, 1985. I'm not sure if we've welcomed you or not. Your name kind of sounds familiar, just but we're not sure. So if you've already been welcomed, you're getting a second welcome. Welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, K K M K A space M. Welcome to the neighborhood. Now I gotta I gotta fix a mistake. I just I have to <clears throat> fix a mistake. I love singing. I love my singing monsters. I said she. Well, it is a he. So, I love my singing monsters. Welcome to the neighborhood, he. Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> okay, so my question last night was, what is the feature in your town that would get us to want to come to your town to visit? And I just picked out a couple that I really, really thought were very interesting. We mm -hmm. have Finland from Shelter from Wind has a 1510 medieval fieldstone church. That, I think, would be fantastic to go and see. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we have... Oh, a haunted hotel in Chicago where the first documented serial killer stayed. H. H. Holmes. I think that would be interesting. But that's not standing any longer. It's now a bank. Oh. But not not a bank, a post office. They do have some of the bricks from the hotel in the basement of the post office. <clears throat> I still think that would be pretty interesting. Um, one of the places I think you would like is in Phoenix. They have the Musical Instrument Museum. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? Yeah. So, but I didn't write the other ones down, so I'm sorry. But castles. We love castles. I would love to go and explore old <clears throat> castles. Love it, love it, love it, love it! Here in, so, Cor here in Corona... Um, this oh, that's right. You said we... Yeah, have, we, the yeah. interesting thing about Corona is the word Corona is Spanish for, for ring. And uh, there is a street in Corona called Grand Avenue that is a perfect circle. And if you pull up the map of Corona, you'll see that there's this great big circle in the middle of the town. And there's streets coming in and out of it. And you can't figure out why it's there. And the town's call, uh, been named Corona because of it. It used to be a racetrack. Back in around 1915 and 1916, they used to have uh, races. And all the people who had, there was Victorians all, all lined all the way around it. And they all sit on their front lawn and watch the cars race. Pretty cool. Okay, so my question for tonight is if you could go anywhere in the world for <clears throat> one week, okay. where would you go? Answer below. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. So, I, I got my own book today. Yeah, are you going to remember to give the answers? <laughs> okay, Silence of the Lambs, 1991. Um, Which we just watched tonight. Yeah, the, uh, one of the featured items in it is, is the Death's Head Moth. One of the things that uh, finally caught the killer. Uh, unfortunately, a death head's moth is an Asian moth, and so they had a substitute or a fake chef uh, <laughs> moth that was actually wearing a costume. 
<laughs> Can you imagine putting a costume on a little moth? Uh, and the moth was a local moth, a tobacco, uh, tobacco worm moth. And, um... Tobacco horn worm moth. That's what I said. You left horn out. Okay, and the people who got that right is, first was Terry Johnson, uh, then second was Tanya Langley. Longley. That's what I said. And <laughs> third was Bambi S. Yay! So today's uh, trivia question is a simple one. The movie The Ring. 2002, which was a remake of a Japanese story which was turned into a ring called Ringu. Um, what was the significance of the ring, according to the writer Koji Suzuki? They never, they never actually say. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be sitting here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. By the way, happy Friday the 13th! Be sure to go by and check out the neighborhood zoo, paranormal investigations with the neighbors, P.I.N., Megan's Arts and Crafts, and we will see you all tomorrow.